Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics. Obviously it's Mario here. Today we got a no check engine light complaint. A complaint of a no check engine light. Well, we have a, what feels like a dead miss. Very, uh, <clears throat> very crazy amount of shaking at the engine at idle. But you hit the gas and everything's fine. And right now as I'm speaking, it was it's running and the battery light just turned on so as you can see it's got 150,000 miles it's got the battery light on but it has no check engine light on now let me sh just show you the shaking this is a 2007 Toyota Prius if you don't have this vehicle this diagnostic video may not apply to you it may apply in general but it may not apply to you who knows this is not a silver bullet this is a topic that has been of much concern to me as of late but that, that will be for another time anyway if if you're looking for a silver bullet this is not the place but <clears throat> let's go to the front and show you the shaking there you have it seems like a dead miss right and as you could probably tell number two cylinder was already replaced by another shop what yesterday so i was told i've already got my personal scan tool hooked up to it and I looked up a couple of things. Let me see. I got my short-term and long-term fuel trims, and they are perfect at zero. Why? Why is that? Let's see our fuel system status. We're in open loop. Let's see that battery light. Hey, lights are flickering. Let's see if you can see that. So I'm suspecting and our airbag light just turned on. I'm suspecting an idle issue. So let's put up our engine RPM and our mass airflow rate. Look at this thing. It is, it is dying. So real quick, look, less than 300 RPM. I know that those who, of you who have experience will probably already know what this is. I'm suspecting an extremely dirty, especially with 150,000 miles, an extremely dirty throttle body. So let's open it up and take a look. So we are going to make room for our throttle body access. So let's get some things out of the way. Let's make some room. Hundred fifty thousand miles doesn't surprise me. I know a lot of a lot of you guys are against uh, fuel induction services. Well, you know what? This may be proof that even the most basic maintenance, like a fuel induction service, may be uh, in order here. This doesn't just apply to dirty throttle bodies. I mean, you could have uh, issues with your induction service as a whole, you know, with your induction system so anyway basic maintenance guys especially if you have a gdi engine if you have a a direct injection engine and you don't do your fuel inductions you're going to end up with misfires and that is about as close as it gets let's see if i could get you guys a good shot there's no air going through there come on so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and check our scan data again. All right, fellas, so we have our throttle body wide open. And no, I don't have somebody holding the throttle open for me, nor am I sticking something in there manually. You can damage it. So what I did personally is use a throttle lock to keep it open. With the key on, obviously, now you can use whatever you want use a breaking wall for all i care but don't jam these things wide open you can really damage them and it's going to cost the customer a lot more than just a, a throttle body cleanup to fix this issue it's probably going to cost you if anything but yeah let's just do a real quick cleaning just to make sure and don't just spray a ton of uh intake cleaner into the throttle body 
you can damage the mortar believe it or not you hit it hit hit a a clean rag with it and then you go to town on it until it's clean enough now i'm just going to clean the throttle body blade and and it's surrounding a the round the surrounding cylinder but we're going to do an induction service on this i just want to get it on camera what a huge difference it makes to do something so simple something so basic as this so yes it could cause problems people have changed alternators because they don't realize that the throttle body is not allowing enough air to go through and they wonder why they changed that alternator for no reason that kind of touches on the silver bullet topic a little bit but i digress <laughs> so just to not misdiagnose this whole issue let's clean up this throttle body check our rpms one more time afterwards and we should be all set oh man let's get this done all right fellas so we're back in the vehicle and we're going to start it up for the first time since our throttle body cleanup i wouldn't be surprised if our battery was dead since it wasn't charging due to the low idle it is not an alternator issue it's an idling issue big difference guys and it is dead <laughs> it didn't help also that i kept the throttle locked with the ignition on this whole time so that's why our throttle body was shaking so let me just put a jump pack on this thing i'm sure our battery is fine but let's put a jump pack on this thing and get it started i'll be right back all right so we're now back in our vehicle with the jump pack connected and i will disconnect the jump pack so you guys can see that it's not an alternator issue hey it started just fine seems to be idling beautifully and we got a little bit of a belt screech but that's not our concern for today a lot of you guys won't believe it until you see it i'm using my not so reliable meter but nonetheless it should work fine for this there we have it 13.3 volts let's see if our battery light came back on or not which it didn't but let's see there you have it no lights no nothing idling beautifully all the symptoms are gone there's no more shaking there's no assist on the throttle it's doing it all by itself guys it's something as simple as maintenance you know if you guys noticed there was a perfectly brand new air filter on this vehicle if you would have taken two seconds to just check the throttle body you would have seen that it was completely clogged up so like i was saying before this may not apply to your vehicle but in a lot of cases this is a one of those general maintenance items that you should do on every vehicle keep that throttle body clean why did the throttle body get dirty because the air filter wasn't changed enough every 30,000 miles guys at least every 30,000 miles you know and put quality stuff I, i'm not a big k and n guy but to each his own for me factory everything oem everything <clears throat> or as close as possible thanks for tuning in guys i hope you enjoyed i hope you can see how a dirty throttle body can cause different issues as charging issues it felt like a misfire felt like a dead miss if i went to the exhaust i should have caught it on camera i went to the exhaust i put a little paper out of the exhaust and it was pulling it so you know that to the to the ones who have never seen this before you will get fooled so that's why i put this video up i mean this isn't the first time this has happened to me i've seen people like i said i see i've seen people change alternators because of this i've seen people do crazy amount of things just because of a 30 dirty throttle body so now this may not be the case for you but it was in this case so take this with a grain of salt this is your disclaimer you've been warned do your diagnostic process go in order check sometimes in diagnosing knowing what's good is just as good as knowing what's wrong with the vehicle so get all the data that you can uh, we got our rpm data very low rpm very low mass airflow rate how did we know that that wasn't from the alternator personally experience i didn't check voltage but how would how would that prove anything if we had a great alternator um 
we do, we have a good alternator that would improve anything because voltage idle is not high enough to to charge the, the car in the first place so a little bit of experience on this one and it's not anything complicated uh, i appreciate you guys watching once again thanks for tuning into super mario diagnostics i hope this was of some use to you guys you know play it safe gather data do it the right way and this will get an induction service but for the sake of the video this is where i'll leave it and subscribe if you like what you see if you don't like what you see hey give me a thumbs down but you know say something share your thoughts you know that's what the comment section is for and till next time